Meet Sophia Petrillo. She always had a bucket bag right in her hands with her shady attitude and her cute cardigans. Braille takes Sophia. You have to have a cardigan, you have to have a cute bag, and I personally don't have cute prescription sunglasses for this look, so I just added some sunnies. Cardigan, check. I had to do a classic vintage earring, Chanel, check, and then a cute white bag and a homage of her bag, check. Yes, Sophia inspired it, okay? But it's Brio being Brio. So Rose Nyland, the house idiot. Her style was very feminine, very light, very cute. But um, yeah, she was dumb. To be honest, this is a thrift flip. But I wore it for this video because it's very light, very feminine, very Rose. Rose always had a cute sweater, always. And I wanted to showcase that along with some ripped denim because that's just Brio's way. Future thrift flip, but I had to include it because Rose wore a dress like this. Rose was the character that was dumb, but she also wore a lot of bright colors to show her personality along with monochromatic looks. So she would always wear one bright, bright color and I wanted to showcase that in this look. Yeah, Rose, bright colors, and she also would pull out a jumpsuit every now and then. So I had to show y'all I got it, I just had to. Dorothy Zvornak. She is shady queen number two. She is Sophia Petrillo's daughter and she always gave us layers. Layers upon layers and long, honey. Everything was long. Love her, my fave. Dorothy loved the Moo and apparently so does Brio. I've had this for forever and finally put it on and it's cute. Dorothy Brio's way. I love a long duster, but you know, I need to have a crop top on. So every now and then Dorothy would step out and be looking lavish. So I had to show you what that would look like if Brio did it, but you know, with Dorothy inspiration. Blanche Devereaux, the slut of all slut, the hose of all hoes, the southern peach that she was. Let me tell you something. She had looks though. So many looks that they even put it in her contract that she can keep them. That's how many looks she had, honey. I say this affectionately, but Blanche was a slut. And her being a slut, she really knew men and she really knew lingerie. I love lingerie as day wear. Not unlike Rose, she loved color, but not only just color, she liked it in a two-piece with matching earrings. Her colors were always vibrant, her prints were always vibrant, and so was her jewelry. I think it had a lot to do with the location than being in Miami, Florida, and her having this jazzy, slutty, fun, free personality. Funny enough, I look like an art teacher and she worked at a museum. Fun fact about Brio, I don't really love modern day sequins, but I love, love, love vintage sequins. So I was all over this recreation look or inspiration look because Mama, Mama Blanche always had the sequins unlocked. 